Hi everyone, today we're looking at the paper Retrieve, Rerank, Read, Then Iterate Answering Open Domain Questions of Arbitrary Complexity from Text by a bunch of authors from Stanford University and Samsung Research. This paper is about multi-hop question answering and in particular question answering that requires you to extract knowledge from different amounts of data sources and combine them to find the correct answer. And this is important because most uh, more sophisticated questions typically require you to combine information from multiple sources in order to come up with a good answer. In particular, the authors in this paper propose a new model, which is a multitask model capable of extracting information, paragraphs from a search engine, and then re-ranking the paragraphs and then finding the best paragraphs to extract the best answer. How does this work? Here we have an illustration regarding how this model called IRRR works. Basically, given that you have a question that is sophisticated, let's say, um, what is the name of Bruce Willis' character in Unbreakable, which is a movie? The model consists of three components. You have a retriever model, which is capable of generating a query, search engine query out of this question, formulating this query in a good way such that you can retrieve a lot of good paragraphs from a search engine. And the authors use a Elasticsearch search engine which they create from all Wikipedia articles. So once you have generated a suitable query with this retriever, you get, let's say, four paragraphs, which then you have to input to a reader component, which is capable of finding a answer span, which contains the answer that you're looking for. For example, David Dunn, which is the correct answer here. In addition, the reader model is capable of outputting a special no answer token and if it's outputting a no answer token this means that the extracted paragraphs are not super amazing to answer this question so in this case there's a loop back to a re-ranker model which re-ranks these paragraphs that were extracted for example one paragraph could be the about the film unbreakable another paragraph could be about i don't know some random actors other films the ranker finds the best, best paragraph and uses it to expand the query to improve it to be able to then, if you pass it again in the search engine, to get a refined selection of paragraphs which are even better, even more relevant. For example, maybe we find a paragraph from the article about David Dunn, the character from this movie. and then we repeat the process of inputting this, adding this new paragraph and then inputting to the reader. And then hopefully now the updated information allows the reader to come up with the answer, which is David done here. And this finishes the process. Once the reader is capable of outputting an answer, which is different from no answer, we can stop because we have found a answer, which the model thinks is satisfactory and we can return that to the user. So the way this IRR model works is actually a multitask model. So you have a shared transformer encoder um, used by all components, the retriever, the reader, and the re-ranker models. As the model, they use an Electra model, which is similar to BERT, but a more efficient version. And regarding the 
downstream models, the retriever and reader and rank are actually classification models pretty much. The retriever is basically taking in the input question formulated in natural language and then doing some sort of a binary classification to extract um, tokens which are most informative to input to the search engine. The reader is predicting the start and end tokens of the extracted paragraphs to, um, to return as the answer. And there's also a special component to detect when we have a no answer. So when the paragraphs are insufficient to find the answer. And then finally, the re-ranker is also some sort of a classification model and all the models are jointly trained together. More details are available in the paper. The authors do a number of experiments with this um, IRR model on two datasets. First on the squad dataset, which is a single hop question answering dataset where basically you're given a single par paragraph of a Wikipedia article and you have to produce a answer which is the best spun. And always the answer is in the paragraph. Um, it's not a, you don't need to generate any uh, special answer. So on this dataset, the IRR model is outperforming a bunch of different previous methods in terms of F1 score. Um, another data set is the Hotpoint QA data set where you have to not only retrieve, you, you have to actually reason over multiple paragraphs and not just a single paragraph as squat. So it's a more sophisticated um, multi-hop question answering data set. There, um, which is this column here, there the IRR also outperforms the previous benchmarks or it's very similar to them um, in terms of F1 score, demonstrating that this capacity to retrieve paragraphs and to answer, to find the correct answer response seems to be competitive also to previous models on this more complicated benchmark. And then finally, in terms of um, um, new, the also, authors also propose a new benchmark, which is specifically targeting three hop uh, question answering. So you need to not only extract, extract one or two, but three paragraphs and then combine extract supporting evidence and combine it to answer those. The authors propose this new benchmark with 200, 200 questions. And on that benchmark, it seems that also the uh, IRR model is performing better than the GRR model, which is another multi-hop question answering model. However, it's interesting to note that the F1 score is, is much lower than the Hotpoint QA, so this task seems to be very difficult in general. So in overall, it seems to be an interesting approach to train a single multitask model for generating queries that can be inputted in a search engine, extracting answer spans, and then re-ranking to get even better um, question, questions for the search engine. It seems to be effective on a number of benchmarks, including a new benchmark which the authors propose. And um, I like that it's doing this multitask um, retrieval and answer selection. For more details, including some examples and further details, check out the paper that the authors provide. Thanks for listening and talk to you soon.